Hi, thanks for uh, joining me again. So in this video, we're going to be looking at windscreen washer fitting and the harness fixings. Now the harness fixings, uh, they fit in the boot here uh, at, at the back there. And um, the eye for the harness uh, screws up uh, through, the, um, through the harness fixings. Obviously this needs to be made a lot shorter, but this attachment needs to go up through the rear scuttle of the bodywork. Um, so to find out where that is, we need to be temporarily fixing this, drawing a line, and then finding out where we need to start opening up a hole. All right, so all I do is temporarily put these brackets into place, and then I mark a line either side of the bracket so that I know where it's going up. I'm gonna remove the bracket and just buzz a little one millimeter hole, not that it really matters because it's all gonna be covered in carpet or leather on the back, but a little one millimeter hole quite high up so I can see um, whereabouts the, uh, the hole needs to be made on the other side. So with the hole on the other side, I'll be able to uh, tell whereabouts uh, uh, I need to come up and then start opening up a hole on the underside of the scuttle here. And then as I gradually open it up with the drill, then maybe my file attachment, my grinder attachment, uh, I can then see the bracket and really just keep it all uh, nice and neat, just big enough for the uh, eye bolt. All right, so as you can see, I use the little tiny hole poked through from the uh, boot to give me a rough mark in where this needs to be. And I've just been opening it up very carefully and you can see that uh, I'm pretty dead centre. So now it's just a case of opening that up nice and neatly um, to be able to fit um, uh, this, this uh, unit here, um, the eye bolt. Now you do need to, it will screw up enough to take in this, this, uh, this section as well. So it does need to be uh, at least that wide. And with body moving and things like that, I would suggest um, you know, a couple of mil all around the side because you, would, you wouldn't want this to uh, lean against the body and uh, start cracking any paintwork, etc. So um, once we've done that, uh, by natural fact, to start sizing it, sizing the hole properly and getting a good centre, I'm, I'm actually going to cut this bolt shorter right now. Um, now I'm not sure of the exact length. I do know that when you screw it in, if it's too long, it's going to um, it's going to hit you know the top, come through the, the the top of the bodywork or put a pressure point in there but it does need to go through the harness um, supports fully uh, and just poke out um, you know, a couple of turns out the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, and just cut a bit off just so I can screw it in there and get the hole correct for this. And then we can worry about you know, taking uh, another couple of mil off uh, shorter. So, uh, so we'll just do that and see how we get on. Right, so uh, I've got my shortened bolt and I've just screwed it up to the body there and made a little circle around it so that we can get a nice accurate uh, neat circle cut out all right and that's the kind of completed job um i'm going to leave it there the body isn't on permanently yet because i've still got to fit the engine etc so there might be some movement so i'm not going to open it up anymore but i will probably add another couple of mil on um and then you want to make sure that the bolt length doesn't uh, hit the top of the body uh, up here so have a look inside and make sure you've got the right bolt length and you want to uh, have the bolt finishing uh, its tightness kind of in this direction uh, so the harness can be attached um, so to do that you might have to put a little shim in there or a washer uh, just so that it tightens real tight and finishes in roughly that direction maybe uh, maybe just a little bit off but that is the harness supports here we go on to the windscreen wipers. Now I've opted for a two wiper system. You can go for three and it'd have uh, different measurements, uh, obviously how you uh, position them. But let's see what we've got here. So, um, okay, so we've got uh, two wiper uh, gearboxes, if you like. These need to be installed in the holes at an angle, which is why you've got this uh, tube in here cut at an, at an angle. So that's, uh, that's, then um, met up with this side, um, nice scutching if you like, and then obviously the windscreen wipers um, will be at that angle and be able to uh, go back and forwards. Now, uh, the holes I need to make uh, to get this going 
uh, need to be 10 inches either side of the center line. So I've got my center line, I'm going to measure out 10 inches. I'm going to be in roughly the position that uh, AK have marked, uh, marked the hole. So I'm going to be going in there, um, initially uh, straight, straight down, and then I'm going to uh, start going in at an angle. And I want, to, uh, want this kind of position here. So I'm going to go in and go up to about 10 mil and then I'm going to open it out with a file uh, nice and carefully so I don't uh, go too far. I don't want to be going too far into uh, the windscreen area uh, or, or this way too far. And I just want it opened up enough so that um, I can poke this up from underneath and, um, and uh, be able to uh, uh, do it all up. So let's get on with that. Okay, so this is uh, pretty much where I want the centre of the hole, and then I'm going to open it up uh, both ways to make it more oval and be at this kind of angle to, uh, to take the scutcheon in here. So let's just get started. Okay, so that's uh, beginning to look good. So I need to continue like this uh, with a slightly larger drill bit. go so that's uh that's pretty good i think let's have a look I'm poking it up through the un underside so that's coming up at uh, a kind of angle and then see if that's all gonna nice and straight and right angle to the scutcheon. in yeah it's not bad not bad at all so i think we're pretty much there on that i'm just going to just open it up just a tad more um, you know, for uh, to take into account a little bit of paint and stuff, and then now I can't really see too many threads or any just half a thread coming through. So, what I'm going to do because uh, the guys cutting this tube uh, don't cut it that accurately, so I'm going to just cut this tube here uh, and just take about sort of two or three mil off uh, this tube, just slice it straight through. And that'll allow this to poke up through the hole just a little bit more and to show a couple more threads. So, uh, so I'm going to do that, but you do need to be careful not to take off too much because you can uh, you obviously tighten this against this uh, and the bodywork. And this, this can compress ever so slightly, so you can do it up tight against it. So we need to make sure that um, we only just take off a couple of, uh, couple of mil off this each time. And then uh, once the body shop have been here and taken care of the little chip I've taken around the side, <laughs> then that will be awesome. Of course, you've got a rubber grommet uh, to go on here first, which is very wide, slightly wider than the actual escutcheon. This is all hidden anyway, and, uh, and that's all going to look very nice. So I just need to replicate that on the other side. Same distance away from the rubber, etc. by the time we've finished and we'll be done.
we just tidy the hold up a little bit. I've just taken a couple of mils off uh, the flat face here so I can push it back a little bit further. So uh, we'll see if that can fit. Remember that when fitting, uh, when fitting it, this has uh, got to be hanging on the bottom, ready for the, uh, the kind of worm drive that pokes through there. So uh, it goes at that kind of angle. So let's have a look. So that's uh, quite nice, put the rubber grommet on. And I can see a couple more threads now. So that's looking quite good. And I'm sure I'll uh, have to do that up very neatly. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it, set the right angle. And uh, all I need to do is just tidy it up the way the rubber grommet is sitting underneath, which you can just do just by squidging it around a bit. And I think, I think we've got a good angle there. So that's it. That's how to install the gearboxes for the windscreen wiper. So once fitted, there are a couple of adjustments you can do. You can lengthen the, the windscreen wiper by undoing this little arm here and it will release and let this uh, arm slide in and out. And then you really have to push this quite hard so it's uh, back up in, in line uh, underneath. Can't quite do it without gloves or something. Um, so just do that. Um, and you do that because you know you might, might need it to uh, adjust uh, the height of the windscreen there or if it's, or if it's hitting or if it's uh, hitting here at the end of its sweep, you might need to adjust it. And if you find that um, the windscreen wiper isn't quite flush, perhaps, to the windscreen, it's not unknown just to need to put a slight bend in here. Of course, as it goes up, um, it's nice and flush, so it is only the slightest of bends just to, uh, just to hold it, I guess, in its lower position here. Mine's practically flush, but I'm just going to give it just a tweak there. And that's how you fit a windscreen wiper. There we go, really pleased with the windscreen wipers, all nicely lined up, holes in the same place, etc. So now we uh, turn our attention to the windscreen wiper motor um, and the Bundy tube that uh, this kind of worm drive has to uh, run inside of. Uh, this is uh, pretty hard to, to work with in that uh, it, can, it can crack, it doesn't bend particularly, well, it bends well, but it doesn't sort of bend back very well. So you need to be pretty careful with it um, and if you bend it too too much um, then it can turn sort of oval and it can restrict the worm gear from uh, running inside it nicely so you need to try and keep it keep the bends very shallow so that the uh, the worm gear will drive through so um, typically uh, you would have got a flaring kit um, for your brakes and brake pipes etc However, it's unlikely to, to have the correct size, so um, so you might have to uh, buy another one or uh, or borrow another flaring tool to be able to flare this size. Now, fortuitously, um, the uh, tube does come with one flare on the end, which is great. So the score is this end uh, will uh, screw screw onto here, and then it's going to have a you know a 10, 12 inch uh, section that needs to be needs to then be flared so you'd cut it cut it around here and you'd need to flare it to go into the bottom of the first gearbox and then what I do I use the next section but uh, I use this nice handy flare to uh, attach it to the, to the gearbox and that runs um, to, to the next gearbox and then you'll have a little bit left over which you can just chuck a, a, a quick flare on and that just hangs out the back of the last uh, gearbox so let's have a look what i'm talking about here i'm not sure if you can see too well um so there's the gearbox so the uh, wiper motor will fit there the worm gear will follow this curve kind of uh, to the first to the first uh, gearbox here and then from this gearbox you need that length of bundy tube uh over to the next gearbox and then uh and then obviously because it's uh, going in and out um, you know, sort of five or six inches, then the last little bit of tube, you can just uh, put a flare on to, 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 so it sticks in this uh, gap here and leave it hanging and that'll just take care 
of the uh, of the worm gear going in and out, so it doesn't foul on any wires and stuff. So we're going to have a little a little go at that. Okay, so my progression so far is I've got this first pipe in, a couple of angles thrown in there. Uh, the part, uh, the internal gear did get a bit tight on uh, on the first uh, bend, but uh, just um, just around here. But uh, I put a thin file in there and just took off a little bit of a edge inside and now it runs smoothly. Of course, uh, you have to grease it before you fit it finally. Um, got another bit of bend up there um, and also a sort of third bend um, going, going away towards the bulkhead and then coming back in again just so we're entering this fairly straight. Uh, only minor, but... Uh, it's in there, so I'm pretty happy with the position of that. Uh, you need to be careful, you know, that you do get the position right because if this is uh, if this gearbox is forced at any sort of angle, it can change the um, the angle of, uh, of 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 where the um, you know the uh, of this uh, left and right etc. Where that's going to be. Anyway, I'm happy with all that. So. <laughs> So now I'm going to use the uh, the other bit of pipe. So it's uh, the other the end of the pipe had a flare put in, which is really handy. You only really need a flare one end because the rest of the pipe uh, does go in through um, the gearbox, you know, uh, 10, 12 mil. So I'm going to use this flare here to hold this this side in place, and put a very loose bend in it, so that I can get all the way over and uh, put it into that gearbox over there. And then anything, anything left, I'll uh, put a flare on the end and, um, and put it on the end and hopefully that'll be good. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so here we are pretty much finished. Uh, so first part of uh, this section here, the Bundy uh, tube is the most difficult, putting some fine bends on there, getting it to the correct length, etc. Um, and then the second one, nice and easy. Just a slight bend going over the top there. And then we've got the short piece on the end. Uh, so when I've got uh, the electrics in and I know um, how far this uh, uh, worm drive goes in and out, uh, I'm going to trim it. I think actually it only goes in and out. Um, it's only a small gear really, um, probably about five or six centimeters or so. So I should be able to trim this off uh, right at the end here, and it's just going to go in and out to uh, this section of tube uh, quite nicely. So that is windscreen wipers done. All right, so while we're uh, messing about with the front of the car here, um, we're going to install the window washers. So I've made uh, some more measurements. The AK ones were slightly off. Good. That wraps another video up. Um, if you found any tiny little bit of that useful, then please like and subscribe. It'll help the channel out loads. Uh, so next up, we're going to be doing heater and gas rams. See you again. <laughs>